and welcome to the first edition of Owl Sports Update for the Fall 2010. With Sam Peppard, I'm Jillian Marshall. The semester has started, campus is crowded, and thousands of students showed their pride at Temple's first football game of the season on September 3rd. And later, Temple Field Hockey is doing something it hasn't done in about 10 years. But first, we're talking about the, major, the Mayor's Cup Part 2. Temple football took on Villanova in the second annual Mayor's Cup over Labor Day weekend at Lincoln Financial Field. Last year, Nova won the cup on a last second field goal. This year, it was much, it was much the same, but a different team was left holding the cup. Dan Koob has more. Temple mixing it up with crosstown rival Villanova to kick off the 2010 season in front of 32,000 at the link. The Owls would waste no time on their first drive. Chester Stewart runs option left and pitches to Matt Brown who decides it to reverse field and take it the other way and scores Temple's first touchdown of the season to go up 7-0. Nova would take a 14-10 lead into the locker rooms and would keep the pressure on. St. Joe's prep product Chris Whitney hits Norman White on a 21-yard touchdown pass to put Nova up 21-13. But Temple would strike back in a big way. After cutting the lead to five, Stewart hits senior Michael Campbell on the waggle, 62 yards to Pater, and Temple now in front 22-21 after a missed two-point conversion. The Owls would get the ball back only to hand the Wildcats possession on a bad exchange, setting Nova up in field goal position with a chance to take the lead. And that's just what they'd do with a 41-yarder from Nick Yakko, Nova front running 24-22. Brandon McManus readying himself in the event the Owls can pull close enough to win this one with a field goal. With no timeouts, the Owls take nine plays to get the ball to the 26-yard line to give McManus that chance. And the sophomore with the steel toe and icy veins boots it through. The Owls would return a fumble on the ensuing kickoff for a touchdown and take the Mayor's Cup 31-24. Here's the head coach, Al Golden, after a wild four quarters. To be honest with you, having a field goal kicker that his range starts at the 40-yard line is an incredible advantage. Even when the ball was at the 40, you know, they, they're, they keep saying, Coach, you know, how much, how much? And I said, not much, not much. This guy's going to hit it. There's going to be skeptics and cynics tomorrow morning that says, well, you beat a 1AA team. And, and I'm going to tell you right now, wrong. We beat champions. That's a championship team. The Maris Cup Series now stands at one game apiece. And Sam, if these first two years are any indication, this series is going to be an exciting one for a long time. Thanks, Dan. All right, let's talk defense. Sure. They, they were good enough for the win, but it seems like they had some room for improvement. What's your impression? Yeah, they, they really subscribe to the bend but don't break defense, really. But sometimes being just good enough is, is that. It's just good enough. Nova didn't punt the football until the eight-minute mark of the fourth quarter, but the defense really stepped up when they had to. And the big key was shutting down Matt Caesar. He had five carries, five receptions, three pass attempts, seven kickoff returns, and one punt return. So clearly Villanova wanted to get him the football, and his offensive touches only gained 70 yards. So it was a great job by Temple's defense taking away Villanova's best weapon. Right. And the big story of it was, you know, Bernard Pierce, his hunt for the Heisman, but he had a rather mediocre performance. Who was the standout star in this game that was the key to the victory? Well, I think the easy answer here is to say Brandon McManus, who received national recognition uh, for his efforts. He went four from five in his field goal attempts. But I'm going to say Chester Stewart. The way he came back after fumbling the football and Nova taking the lead with the field goal uh, was really impressive the way he drove the ball down the field with no timeouts to get to the 26-yard line in only nine plays. And that's going to be really important for him this season because Temple only averaged 3.3 yards a carry, and teams are not going to let Bernard Pierce and Matt Brown beat them. They're going to see defenses throughout the year. They're going to put eight and nine men in the box. So Chester Stewart's progression throughout the year throwing the football is going to be crucial for the Owls this season. All right, thanks, Dan. Dan Koob, he knows it better than you. With Temple's recent success on the football field, it's been easy for fans to jump on the bandwagon. When you're coming off a bull-bound season, you're playing against a crosstown rival, and it's your season opener, you know that fan support will be there. Joe Polinski has more. At the second annual Mayor's Cup, a sighting so unfamiliar was seen around Lincoln Financial Field. No, it wasn't advertisements for Bernard Pierce's Heisman campaign, but rather the loyal supporters taking to the seats. Of course, a big part of the attendance increase was not only the recent success from the Temple football program, but the inner city rivalry 
with the Division 1AA champion, Villanova Wildcats. And among their normally high-strung personalities, the fans know this could be yet another season to remember. We went to the bowl game for the first time in a while last year, so definitely have to get back to another one of those. Um, definitely be competitive all the big games. You know, got UConn coming up, Penn State. Definitely be uh, competitive in those uh, big games there. We had a great season last year in San Jose. It's hard to top that. But um, I want to see us win this year. Temple football's main goal is like any others, make a return to postseason play. And with 30,000 fans, that dream could become a reality. With both teams combining for 244 total first half yards, the fans gave a little suggestion to head coach Al Golden. Bump and run! Get it to the screen! Keep running. Just give the ball to Bernard Pierce. Keep running the screen, give it to Bernard. Give it to Bernard Pierce. Mix it up on offense. We seem a little predictable with our running game. Chester Stewart's look good, so uh, give him a couple more passes in there. And offense they had as the Owls ran for 80 plus yards and one touchdown. And in winning the Mayor's Cup trophy in front of the second largest paid attendance in Temple's Lincoln Financial Field history, the team and their fans are well on their way for another exciting run. Reporting for Owl Sports Update, I'm Joe Polinski. Fans have a lot to look forward to this season. Temple ups ante in the first MAC game against Central Michigan Thursday night at 7 o'clock at the link. The Owls finish off their three-game homestand against U the Yukon Huskies on September 18th. This game will be aired locally on 6ABC. The first away game this season is a big one. On September 25th, Temple will head up to University Park to take on Penn State. Now, if all you've been doing this week is basking in the glory of the Mayor's Cup, then you may not realize that Temple Field Hockey is off to a historic start this season and that the 2010-2011 Temple men's basketball schedule has been announced. The Owls start their season at home against the Seton Hall Pirates. And while you're eating turkey on Thanksgiving, the Owls will be in Orlando, Florida, playing in the Old Spice Classic. In December, Temple welcomes Georgetown to Leacor Center. And at the end of 2010, the Owls will venture to Villanova to take on the Wildcats. And on the turf, Temple Field Hockey continued its sizzling hot start to the season on the road by holding St. Francis to only four shots in a 7-0 win on Friday. Temple continued to be an unwelcome guest on Sunday by shutting out Georgetown 2-0 in D.C. Oh, and by the way, that's their third shutout in a row. All right, now we go to the nest. Men's soccer faltered at the Puma Classic over Labor Day weekend, tying Colgate in a scoreless game and losing to Lafayette one to nothing. Women's soccer didn't fare any better, losing to Albany three to two. The women now have a two and three record. Wednesday night, Temple's volleyball team competed against Ryder University. The Owls beat the Bronx, sweeping all three sets to win the match, upping their record to two and four. The volleyball team travels to Missoula, Montana on the 10th to compete in three matches in the Montana Invitational. Temple kicker Brandon McManus is our Athlete of the Week. In the Mayor's Cup last Friday, McManus had a career-high four field goals, including a successful 43-yard attempt with three seconds left on the clock to win the game. Now that is clutch. McManus is also the MAC Performer of the Week. That's all for now. For more sports news, go to owlsports.com.